Okay. It has been a trip. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Gabrielle and I make YouTube videos of me pursuing an art career while pursuing my life and I show video processes in between. And this one is a process video, so you'll see my painting very shortly. It finally got completed, but it took a lot of work and it actually kicked my butt. So she made me earn it for sure. But pretty much what happened was I thought I gave myself plenty of time to get the painting done and I got very cocky with my abilities to the point where I stayed up way later than I needed to last night just to not complete it. I slept a couple hours so I could get up with Amory uh, and somehow I was able to attack it, conquer it, be motivated by it because of needing to make a video for YouTube. So it actually kept me on my goal versus what I usually would have done, which was just toss the painting and scrap the idea and just try something new. So it made me work for it. And I had just enough time to go to my appointment before going to work. And now it is late at night, everybody's asleep, and I am now finishing a video, so I make sure to post it. So if you are the type of person that likes this type of stuff and you like a person that posts consistently, um, you should follow this channel for sure. Cause every week, I stick to the schedule because in the end, I know that putting in all this hard work will totally be worth it someday, uh, especially with your support. So hit subscribe and tune in every Tuesday and let's get started on Perth. <laughs>
on the face for about three hours now and it's been going really good so um, I am on my second glass of beer this really good sour from our local brewery and I just wanted to do a quick check-in so um pretty much the face I was just telling my husband have really been approaching um both paintings in general and have really been trying to kind of attack photorealism and working on um, kind of a strategy that really helps me is just focusing on color and focusing on what the color is in the specific spot versus trying to form an eye or a nose and I was definitely struggling with the nose because of the fact that I kept looking at it as a nose versus looking at it as what I was seeing on my uh my iPad. So anyways, that is that. Um, so far I feel good about it, but I've also been staring at it for three hours. So I'm definitely critiquing it. So, um, with this last glass of beer for the night, actually, I'm probably going to have more, but I am going to, um, put the rest of the layer of paint on for the woods, kind of really map out all the colors that I want to have. And then I think tomorrow will be kind of a details project. I wanted to do both paintings, but I also am working my other job this weekend. Um, but I think for sure, uh, hollow will be done. Or I think this is Perth. Yes, this is Perth. Perth will be done uh, and I will be able to move on to Hollow and then also to work on some other projects, which I'll talk about in next week's video and figuring out a way to um, kind of communicate with the canvas. Uh, that's kind of weird to say, but um, I just feel like I'm really starting to connect with it and really understand uh, how my brushes are painting, how the paint's going down and how the canvas is reacting to it. So weird way to describe it, but kind of the best way to describe it in my situation because that's just how I feel. So anyways, quick little check-in and let's finish this painting.
this was the point where I actually really struggled with the forest part of Perth. I always just assumed that that would be easy because I'm not really trying to put down too much detail, just a lot of different variations of color to show the depth of the woods. But in this case, I totally was having a hard time really getting down, making the trees and the colors feel like actual pine trees and thick pine trees and a whole atmosphere of pine trees. And then I struggled through many different emotions, like denial. Here's where we're at right now. I'm on the floor. I almost had two panic attacks because I could not figure out how to do these trees to look realistic, but not like spend hours and hours and hours and hours and hours on it. It's like, boom, taking care of it. Actual anxiety and panic. I'm panicking. This painting is not at all turning out how I wanted it to. Do. That's okay. So, I'll take a break. Try again. Because I know I'm so close. Just for some reason, my strokes are just, what they're doing here is just not matching what they should be doing there. And some pep talks. I'm a great painter. I'm a great painter. I'm a great painter. I can do this. I'm a great painter. I have the student debt to prove it. I even explored new strategies, like turning the painting upside down. But I finally just had to call it a night, wake up with Bubby in the morning, and educate myself on how to paint forests, make myself a bunch of coffee, and finally finish Perth. It's something faint. This is not a place, not yet a way. 